Hey guys, I'm back today with a video I've been wanting to make for a while on how to queen walk, why to queen walk, what to look for, good stuff, bad stuff, kind of along those lines. I was going to include some Town Hall content, Town Hall 10 content in this, as I did a queen walk on number 4 here, but the whole attack just failed utterly, miserably, it was really bad, I was embarrassed, I cried, it was sad. Um, and immediately after I failed that, I made an army for five, with some queen walk action in mind as well. So, I'm going to show that instead, because it went a little bit better, although not super great. So let's do some initial planning and scouting here before we watch the replay. So first off, let us identify double bomb positions, or any bomb position. So we've got one here in the core, another one here in the core. Possible bombs, probably Teslas, um, but you know who knows. People like Teslas in core, it's good, it's strong, but can't rule them out as double bombs. We've got one here, one here. Those two are kind of bad because they're not between two defenses, so it'd be slightly tough to trigger them. Um, but again, their space is there, so maybe. Back here, these ones make a lot more sense because they're all between defenses, so those are more likely. There's also one right here. Um, maybe something here between those, but slightly unlikely. And inside the base, that is it. So those are double bomb positions that we have to be worried about. Now, queen walking, the point of queen walking is, so let's get rid of that. The point of queen walking is to take out, in no particular order, defenses, the more you can get, the better. Bomb positions, the more you can get, the better. Um, you want to get at least one. If you can get a double, cool. Um, or remove pathing, something like that, too. You want to take out the enemy CC. Queen walking queens are one of the most effective things to take out a CC composition, especially unknown. If, um, you want to take out the enemy heroes. If you can get one, cool. If you can get them both, even better. Preferably the queen, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. If you can get the king, that's good, too. Both is best, but you know sometimes all that stuff doesn't work out. Um, but the big one, at least what I went for in this raid, is one or two bomb spots, the both enemy heroes, and the CC. So my initial thinking process was, what do we got here? Was queen walk up here, and we're going to walk that way. The queen will shoot... Four and a half tiles deep over a wall so she can take out where's my draw that tile and that because they're butted up right next to each other but something like that and that she can't shoot because there's a wall one tile however you want to look at it there's a little space there so she could not hit that mortar so this is really key when trying to figure out our queen walks because air defenses are deadly and as soon as the healers go by well it's pretty much the end of your queen walk so I was thinking about starting up here, using, you know, maybe a minion right there, minion there, minion there, to create a kind of funnel. Um, the queen would take out this stuff, this, remove one bomb spot, take that, and then she would most likely head into this channel. If I wanted to make sure and force her, I could drop a wizard out here. Um, but then the problem came when she entered this channel, she would aggro the enemy queen, she would have to take out this gold storage, and meanwhile, this air defense would most likely be in range of the healers about right there. And that's a lot of stuff to get through. You'd have to bring a rage for sure, um, gold storage, queen. You'd lose one healer for sure, maybe two or three, depending on the level of your queen. So it's kind of too risky, and I didn't like much of that. And getting the CC was still kind of questionable with that as well. So I didn't really like that spot. Um, so let's pick a different spot. Where's my drawing tool? There we go. Um, so where else was I thinking about? So I was thinking about over here on this side, right here, queen, and walk that way. This army camp creates a nice funnel, so I wouldn't have to do anything. She'd take out that. You know, all this trash on the outside, obviously, she'd take out this. This, you know, that potential bomb spot, this, you know, she walked this way. But, when she gets to right about here, maybe, 
the healers would be in range of that air defense, and she can't shoot that deep to get the air defense, so they'd be starting to get shot at. So her queen walk wouldn't last very long, and it really is not that glorious. So I thought about the other side. What if we queen walk over here and go this way? Army camp creates a natural funnel. She gets, you know, all this stuff out here. She gets this. She gets this. She can reach that wizard tower. Um, this. But again, we ran into the same problem. Is right about here, probably. The air defense is going to be in range. And it's going to start shooting the healers. So that was the same problem, just on a different side. So eventually I started, you know, trying to think about not queen walks and some way to enter the base. And I really just didn't think of any good way that wasn't queen walking. So I eventually decided, hey, I have to break in to get those air defenses. The air defenses are the problem. I need to get into this channel to get the air defense. So what I settled on is queen walking here with, again, using that army camp as a natural funnel walking her like this. I was going to park a golem right here to take the cannon fire and then I was going to wall break in right there to get the queen to hit in. This would mean I would get several defenses um, and then she can shoot the air defense to save the healers. The golem and blah blah blah, they would all keep walking in this channel. The golem would probably try to go for the air defense afterwards, but eventually he would get in, get with the groove and keep going. So with this, I cleared out a lot of stuff. I removed two double bombs, and eventually the queen would hit the end of this wall right here, and she would want to kill the enemy queen. My plan was then to put a jump spell right there, send in Valkyries, King, blah blah blah, all into the core because everything is left it would be a huge massive funnel send everything into the core heal spells hogs for the backside good times so it was the plan that I eventually came up with um, I didn't quite execute as well as I'd intended you can see the general plan in my replay um, and you can see where things went wrong so that's what you guys are looking for is you gotta watch out for the air defenses. They're gonna shoot your healers. You need to plan for the air defenses. And let's just take a look at it, because I've talked enough. And as you can see, I barely made it on time. <laughs> so there's the queen. Um, my first mistake made her ready. I didn't wait for that archer tower to target the queen, and I lose a healer. I dropped my golem, and I wall breaked in super, super early. I don't know what I was thinking. So you can see that golem redirects. Queen steps up, and this was one unexpected thing. Aggro is the king. I didn't really expect that aggro to happen right there, and because I wall broke in so early, the CC came out. So I'm already in trouble. Got to burn the ability to deal with the king. In hindsight, should have put a poison spell on it. And then here we go, taking out the CC, and I panicked right here because it's killing the dragon. I saw this balloon come over, and if a balloon gets a drop off on a queen, it's I wasn't totally positive if she was going to live. So as you can see there right here, my initial plan kind of worked. I got the queen to come into this channel, and she's going to work her way down. Um, I dropped a wizard too quickly down here to try to create the trash funnel for the Valks later on and Archer shot it and died. So here's where we run into the serious trouble. Bomb shot, hurt, two defenses on her, lost a healer, and it's just too much. So John goes to jump spell. Luckily I had enough of a funnel created. Valks head in, King heads in. Good stuff. They run to the opposite end of the core, aggro the queen. Drop another hail spell. I'm kind of panicking at this point. I can't lose anything. And I just slowly drop in some hogs. Here and there. And at this point I'm just kind of looking like, hey, you know, what's being targeted by stuff in the core? Where can I drop in hogs where they're not getting targeted? Because my queen did not get enough 
as much value as I'd wanted. So I just send in a lot of hogs here and there. And you can see this wizard down here. This dude saved my butt. I dropped him at like a minute 20 or something like that, a minute 30, and he clears a whole bunch of stuff. And up top, they're just continuing to work. Hogs trigger a bomb where I thought there was one up top. Down here, this wizard was weird, targeted the wall. So I sent a wall breaker in just to, you know, kill the wall and move on, dude. Up top. Got lucky with that hog. Targeted, was that the king, I think? And the hog takes out the cannon. And it's just clean up at this point. So you can see my general plan that I had. I think it was a good plan, just extremely poorly executed. If I had been a Town Hall 9 doing this, I obviously would have failed. Um, but I think a Town Hall 9 with the same plan executed properly would have worked. That's Queen Walking, kind of in a nutshell, the things you're looking for. Hopefully I'll get a much cleaner, better example at some point later on. Hope you guys enjoyed.